In most cases, Ebola is a death sentence. But for the six people treated with ZMAP before supplies ran out, odds of survival have been high. Though one of them, a Spanish priest, has died, three West African doctors are reportedly improving, and two American health workers have already been discharged from the hospital. So, does that mean ZMAP works? Six patients just doesn't give you enough statistical power to make a determination as to whether the drug is working. That's Donald Forthall, Chief of Infectious Diseases at the UC Irvine School of Medicine. To truly know if ZMAP works, researchers would need to carefully compare large numbers of people who take the drug with large numbers of people who don't take it. Setting up rigorous trials in the midst of an outbreak wouldn't be easy, but Forthall says, Clinical trials can be done there, and they really have to be done there because there won't be opportunities to do them anywhere else. Other Ebola experts see this unexpected rollout of ZMAP in a more promising light. Erica Ullman Sapphire is a professor at the Scripps Research Institute in La Jolla. She was out of town, but we reached her by phone. So it certainly didn't hurt them. In fact, they started recovering. So it either did nothing or it was helpful. My hunch is that it was helpful. For the past 10 years, Sapphire has been looking at Ebola under the microscope, working to pin down antibodies best suited for combating the virus, antibodies that end up in drugs like ZMAP. Human trials have not gone forward yet, but Sapphire is confident in ZMAP's safety. So confident, she says she'd take it herself, just like those two American health workers, Dr. Kent Brantley and Nancy Wrightbull. But is she equally confident the drug works? I mean, we didn't take Dr. Brantley and Mrs. Wrightbull and their identical twins and treat one and not the twin. That would be the data I would need to say it confidently works in humans. Studies in primates have shown that ZMAP can greatly improve chances of survival, as long as the drug is administered within two days of infection. By the time humans start displaying Ebola's worst symptoms, it might be too late for ZMAP to do any good. And there's another thing to keep in mind, ethics. I came to UC San Diego to talk to Michael Kalichman. He heads up the research ethics program. A number of people said, look, we have a treatment that might work. We don't have anything else that does work. Why not try? He says in a situation like this, research takes a backseat to compassion. It wasn't designed first as a research study. We, we get what we can from it, and that's the best, most ethical thing to do. Matt Biopharmaceutical declined to comment for this story, but in a statement on their website, they say they're working to produce more of the drug. The drug is grown in tobacco leaves, a process that will take months. But experts say the current outbreak is poised to drag on for months. If it's still ongoing by the time more ZMAP becomes available, more of the drug could be sent to the front lines. Even though Kalichman says researchers still aren't sure it works or is even safe in the long term. As for the six test runs of ZMAP conducted so far, what have we learned? Get back to me in six months and we'll be able to answer that question. <laughs> David Wagner, KPBS News.